Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from AWPS Renewable Energy in Lagos, Nigeria. Today, we are going to do something a little different. People have asked me, what is life like for people who use solar in Nigeria? So what we decided to do is we are going to actually interview or talk to people who work in our office. Let them share their experiences of what life with solar is. A little bit of an aside. Since December 7, the grid has been absent, so they've run 100% on batteries and panels. So the first person I'm going to introduce you to is Charles. Charles is the Director of Operations for AWPS Renewable Energy. Hi. So Charles, tell our viewers what your experiences have been so far with solar power and you worked you've worked in an area where you guys had captive power you ran on gens right yes, sure. now you're in a place where you don't run on a generator what's the experience been like <laughs> well it's been an intriguing experience because it's something that you know prior to my being here i've always heard about solar but i've never been you know in a setting where solar is actually being used to power um houses and all that but you know since the 8th of January I've been here, it's run entirely on solar, off the grid, no generators, and you know, we get our business rolling every day. Okay, so what challenges do you see with solar? Well, I think Nigerians have a misconception about solar. I think it's the education side of it, so that's where the problem is. So it's educating Nigerians about the benefits, the long-term benefits. You know, Nigerians just want something quick of the box and it's just letting them know that you know solar actually works but you know it's a long-term thing you know many Nigerians are skeptical as say oh that uh, um, they look at the capital intensive side of the business instead of looking at you know the long-term benefits how much you know they, they're able to save and all that thank you yeah. so here is one of our interns his name is Victor Bajamo Love his parents must really love him <laughs> so Victor has been with us for how many months now Months. He's been with us for three months. He's doing an internship that ends in three more months, right? Yes. So we have you for three more months. Yes. So Victor, what has your experience been like? Yeah, it is cool. When you're in an environment without noise pollution and air pollution, solar is pollution free. So 24 hours night without uh, blackouts. So it has been a great idea. So you're enjoying yourself, huh? Yeah, sure. Good. So here are those batteries we keep talking about, they are being, uh, we're trying to recondition them, hopefully we'll get them back. And here's Abdul Aziz, aka Azeko Rili. Azeko, as you can see, is doing technical stuff on his uh, laptop. Azeko is uh, one of our lead techs, he's been, you have, yeah, the third longest of everyone else, right? Um, yeah. The third longest. So Azeko has been all over Nigeria. and. What are, your, what are your experiences so far working in an environment? No noise, clean power? Yes, the, the experience has been awesome. Like for our company here, we've been living off grid. Let me say yes, off grid, partially, because there was no transformer even in the area and we've been surviving. Though there are some little challenges as to the bank, uh, the size of batteries, the, uh, the size of the panels we have on the roof and all that, but with that, because we are good at what we do, so we were able to manage it even with the little resource we have at hand. So the resources we have is we have how many amp hours in batteries? So two, right now we have two six hundred. No, two, okay, two fifteen, in batteries. Two fifteen amp hours in batteries. Two fifteen amp hours. And then we have uh, two thousand six hundred watts in panels. And our constant use is about six hundred watts. Yeah. So that's not enough to charge the batteries and power our constant use. Yeah. Okay, so thank you, Azeko. You're welcome. Here is our newest person. She's an intern. She's hiding her face. Today is her first day, and she's reading a nice book. So, Chelsea, today is your first day. Say hello to everyone. They didn't hear you. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll dissect and we'll eat her later. Maybe only then will she speak for fear of being killed or eaten. Welcome, Chelsea. And here are our two account executives, our salespeople. As you see, their laptops are on. The fan is on. And uh, Lukman. Lukman has a very, very interesting background. We won't get into it. So we'll just 
Uh, you've been here since January 8th, right? Yes, sir. So what has your experience being in a place where you have light all the time? You know what, where I stay like every now and then, like 24 hours a day, there is good, there always generates noise, every disturbing our, the house where I can't sleep even at night, but even here in office, there is no noise and we always have lights for, uh, 24 hours to supply is good and we are enjoying it. Sir. So do you get to sleep in the office? No, I don't sleep in the office. Why, <laughs> why not if you not sleep in your house? You have to sleep somewhere. No, 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 yeah, I'm just like that. I don't sleep at Okay. Well. By the way, I share your sentiment. It's very, no it's very noisy at night with generators. Yes, and here is Deborah Tinuade Jayola. Deborah, when, what we miss about Deborah is the hair. Deborah has this special <laughs> hair, and I've been telling her to wear it again, and she refuses. So Deborah is one of our kind executives. She started on January 8th as well. Yes. So what has your experience been? Okay, the experience has been nice, because before now, when people talk about solar, renewables, I'm always like, does it work? Is it real? But since I got here on the heat, January 8th, please, there has always been like, and it has been mainly on solar, and it has been nice. Okay. Okay, welcome. Yeah, thank you. And our longest serving employee, Anastasia. Oh, as Mr. Ka, Dr. Kaz used to call you, Anastasia. Anna, YouTube. talk louder, please. Thank you. Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> well, my colleagues have said um, almost all, well, but solar life has been a wonderful experience. It has been a wonderful experience. You sleep, you wake up with lights. It's just like and unlimited internet. So, life with solar has been wonderful. People come here to charge their phones, their laptops, their touch lights, because they are basically living off grid since they are transformable bonds. So, they envy us. Thank you. That's actually a very good point. Uh, this particular area we, we are in, the transformer is always failing. And the last failure occurred when December 7th or December 6th, they caught on fire. They had a, they roasted some marshmallows while it was burning. And um, they've not had power since then. So people in the area come here to charge their phones, their lights, and you know, whatever, it, whatever essentials they need to live. So I'd rather have a root canal than do cold calling. Wow, that's a good, interesting read by a salesperson. So guys, thank, thank you for sharing. This will be on YouTube later today. They get to see uh, the guts of the company, what makes up the company. So thank you for sharing. Abdulaziz doing his normal thing. Chelsea hiding her face. Someone add Chelsea to WhatsApp, please. So we're now inside the house and we're going to speak to people who live with solar. I'll start with my mom. This is, the, this is Dr. Solar's mother. And she's also Dr. Rose. So, Dr. Rose, you've lived with solar for four years now, and what has your experience been like? Wonderful. Just, um, with, once this light just shifts, my body will shift, every part of me will shift. So, anybody, I, I can't remember how I was living when there was no solar. How I was living, I could stay a day without light. In this community now, for the past one month, there has been no, no electric light. And so, me, everything, I have my freezers, my fridge, I pump my water, we iron our clothes, and all whatnot. It has been wonderful. And I, as my people in the village said, that Christopher went to heaven and brought light for them. This is when my son went to heaven and brought me this light. Because this light, that we don't know where it comes from and we have it, must come from. I encourage everybody who can afford it to get so. Thank you. Alaja, you live in Alasia. Yeah. And you used to come and charge your phone here, and you still do, and your daughter comes with her devices. So tell me what the experience has been for you so far. Well, it's very, very good. It's Love. very, it's very good because since about three months now, we don't have light in Alasia. And I've been coming here to charge my phones. And people, not me alone, people in Alaska used to come. And they didn't send them away. And instead of us to go and buy fuel, 
if you know how much fuel is cost, especially me, retired, no salary, no salary, I get money to buy the fuel. So I do come here to charge my phone, so it's good. And better technology. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Alaja. And here is Eze, who works with Dr. Rose. And Eze has been here, at least Eze has enjoyed this, as you see, all the stuff plugged in. People come here and plug their stuff in. Oh, yes. Eze has been here from day one. So Eze, what has your experience been like? Yeah, it has been a very good uh, innovation and a very good and wonderful alternative to our energy in this country. We, the, the, this innovation is filling the gap we have. Uh, it has been useful and productive. It has enhanced our you know, scope of uh, production. We love it. We, we love it. We love you know the business. You know it has helped us. Our source of uh, energy supply from government and other agencies cannot uh, you know uh, brag for us again. We have gotten to alternative. We are happy with it. It is helping us a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. As you see, the fan is on. Lights are on. So the office is also powered by this system. The refrigerator is on. And this is our inverter. These are our batteries. It's in, they're in a battery box. And that's our controller. And on the roof, we have 2,600 watts in panels. So right now, we're pulling, let me see. So with all the stuff you've seen, we are pulling, bear with me, and I'll find it in a second. This menu is very long, it takes a while to see everything in this menu, so bear with me. 13% load, and we are using 550 watts. Hope you can see it. So we're using 540, 550 watts right now. That's what our consumption is. And if you listen, you'd hear the neighbor's generator is on. That generator is on non-stop. At night, during the day, they run it. They spend a fortune just to produce electricity. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. And it's a day in the life of people using solar. Now our production, our use has gone up to 600. Okay, so something came on, 602. So we average between 500 and 650 watts all through the day, and then at night it drops to about 150. 